Good morning friends. This early morning session is dedicated to all the language lover and we are going to elaborate on the topic human, human mind a unique storehouse of information its utilization for our benefit. Human mind as a storehouse of extensive information. Friends there is no denying the fact that the human mind is the most versatile organ in our body. What is human mind? It is the most versatile organ in our body. It is a storehouse of extensive information, experiences, images and emotions. In fact, not only it stores but it also analyzes and selects the material that is needed for our growth. It is constantly working and has a tremendous power of creation. Human mind has a tremendous power of creation. It has both the faculties, constructive faculty as well as destructive faculties. That is the reason why some of us, you know, use their mind for destructive purposes and hence as spoil their stamina energy in futile work and futile activities. On the contrary, most of us utilize our mind for productive and useful activities and bring out some change in our attitude and our you know working that is that is the reason why our mind is always commanded by us like a helper we must understand and we must learn to command our mind like a helper and not allow it to become a master of our own the fact that human you know brain carries unlimited sources of energy human brain brain is the storehouse of unlimited sources of energy and strength which can be utilized in a constructive as well as destructive ways how some of us become a creative and productive citizen while the others you know do not such people who always utilize their mind in a creative and productive manner always stimulate their brain cells in a positive direction they have oriented their mind towards their goal and trained them to dip into the you know uh, work of creating something the sources of energy must not be wasted our day-to-day -day problems and worries keep our mind entangled and exhaust Thus, increasing involvement with so many activities at a time makes us exhausted. This is the problem with the teenagers. The teenagers always keep their mind entangled in so many activities. They are working on cell phones, they are working on internet, they are also working uh, on their books and text and they are just doing so many activities at a time. Because of handling so many activities and utilizing the brain in an over, I mean, oriented way, the mind gets exhausted and a lot of energy gets, you know, wasted. That is why it is advisable that one should always try to, you know, orient one's brain to some selected activities which are conducive for our growth and for our development. We should learn to train our mind not to get wasted but just to get it involved for productive purposes we should not i mean always try to over exhaust our mind because mental exhaustion keeps us i mean worried and makes us weak mentally weak and sometimes we feel over exhausted we have to pay for that so we should always keep our brain fresh and fine by confining it to certain activities. We should avoid uh, idle gossip, criticism of others, quarreling over trifles and digging pits for others to fall into it. We should never involve in unnecessary criticism. We should avoid, I mean, gossip, idle gossip. We should uh, stop quarreling over trifles and digging pits for others to fall into it. Then only our mind can be better utilized. What happens when we are angry, we feel completely and mentally exhausted. We even lose control over our mental faculties and do certain acts to repent on it. So we should always take care of that, that we should never get angry and we should never, 
spoil our energy of the brain in useless talk. The brain cells find themselves, you know, capable only when we monitor them and put them in the right direction. One must remember that a relatively or completely relaxed mind can provide better coordination and effective output. Therefore, we should learn to train our mind to get relaxed time and again and make it useful for the uh, productive activities. We should always, uh, I mean, coordinate our mind to behavioral and physical techniques rather than uh, getting it exhausted over triples. Millions of people have learned how to control the mind and the technique of monitoring and coordinating mind and making it more useful for our day-to-day -day activities. Therefore, all of us should learn to train our mind to coordinate it for our purposes and avoid idle gossip, you know, and any kind of you know, quarrel and criticism uh, which is not meant for us. And that is how we can save our brain from over exhaustion and keep our mind always fresh and fine for any sort of activities. Remember, our mind is, human mind is the most versatile organ in our body, which is having a tremendous source of energy for doing any sort of activity. Let us save uh, our mind and let us keep it like a gift given by God to us to be utilized for the betterment of the society, not for exhausting itself and getting spoiled over triples. Thank you. Have a nice day ahead.